this theater was standing room only and served as the epicenter of the greatest conflict in history. We defended democracy against fascism and believed this would lead to the creation of a better world. There are so many ways I can define freedom by example. I can sit on any toilet, public or private, to deposit number one or number two. Mom and I can select any two available seats we wish when we attend a 3D computer animated film. From the fall of 1985 until the spring of 1988, I attended the School of Visual Arts in New York City. I depended on Metro-North commuter railroad trains and the Metropolitan Transportation Authorities, subways and buses for all my travel needs. I was also a full-time beast of burden and needed to carry along artwork, art supplies, and a knapsack of belongings. I appreciated the privilege to sit anywhere I could and rest up for the next place I needed to haul my chattel. When I dine out, the restaurant's maitre d' directs me to any available seat in the establishment. I registered to vote shortly after I turned 18. I remember the voter registration form as simple and that I selected independent voter because I did not want to enroll in any political party. In addition, I did not have to take either a test filled with a series of nonsensical questions related to civic procedure or a literacy exam jam-packed with confusingly worded questions. Now I want to put myself in someone else's shoes to make a point. I was drafted into the United States Army in 1943 and fought in both France and Germany during World War II. After the war, I was honorably discharged as a sergeant. I defeated fascism abroad and returned home to racial segregation laws prohibiting me from living in white neighborhoods. They enforced segregation for public schools, phone booths, hospitals, asylums, jails, and residential homes for the elderly and handicapped. Some states required separate textbooks for black and white students. In 1946, I successfully registered to vote at City Hall. Then on election day, an angry mob prevented me from casting my ballot. What is worse, fighting against a political system headed by a dictator in which the government controls business and labor and does not permit opposition or returning to my soil and fighting a politically dominant group using racial segregation to maintain their economic advantages and superior social status. The latter, because I am being suppressed by the population I fought to protect. Would my status improve if I had invented the process that enables the production of fertilizer in quantities that revolutionized global agriculture.